if you've got a, a plan of doing something, just do it. <laughs> if you've got a dream. <laughs> Over the course of his life, a Washera County farmer has expanded his horizons far beyond livestock and crops. Using timber from his own land, he became supremely talented, a woodworker and a craftsman. Tonight in small towns, Jeff Alexander travels to Mount Morris to see the house that Sid built and so much more. When his dad bought a farm in Mount Morris in 1954, Sid Auk had already developed a love for woodworking. When I was a kid, I built my little brother's little buildings to play with. Sid self-taught himself everything back then, and that's never changed. I never took shop or anything. I just learned it all on my own. Over the years, while running the dairy farm he took over from his dad and training racehorses, Sid somehow found the time to really expand what he could do with his hands. Well, I built five houses, and I built several garages and decks for people. And I just, <laughs> just figured out. <laughs> figured it out? When I built my first house, I bought a house building book to see how to do it. Four of Sid's homes, including two he built for him and his wife Carol, one for his daughter, and the other one on property he owned in Tennessee, were all constructed from trees he cut and milled on his property. His current home, finished on Valentine's Day 1999, is made entirely out of white cedar, inside and out. It took about a day and a half to get 100 boards. I'd run them all through the table saw once and all through the planer twice and all through the shaper. A lot of them are tongue and grooved and a lot of them are just laps, lap, but they all went through the shaper twice. And uh, it'd take about a day and a half to get them ready and then it'd take a little over three quarters a day to put them on and then I'd start on another hundred. I just love doing it. <laughs> With his final home finished, Sid was on to his next challenge. And this is the reason I don't know if I should build anymore. And a walk downstairs reveals what he's been up to since then. This is my idea of an 1800 log cabin. Sid's basement is filled with replicas, all with the finest detail. That had to take you a long time. These, these replicas, like, uh, from 120 to 150 hours on each one. Along with the log cabin, there's a modern day farm scene. Bent all the little wires for the stalls. The one room schoolhouse he and his brothers attended and the racehorse barn he used to own. Sid also built a replica. They're just like real rooms they built are. from walls. And of the home he built in Tennessee. Just like a real. The same process. Real house. And like all of his replicas, it's built to one thirty-second scale and constructed exactly how he built the real one. That's why they took so long to build. Our tour continues with a look at Sid's Fort Atkinson. Here's pictures of the real one. And again, he turned to his land. I cut uh, 60 little white pines and peeled them. It took me like 50 hours just to get the trees ready. Grand Champion ribbons hang on most of Sid's replicas, which he won by entering in the local county fair. His most recent creation, this tree house, completed last year. See, it's all boarded up inside and it's all sided with pine trees. And just when we think we've seen it all, Sid has one more surprise on display in his loft. See, they're all made just like the real tractors. A massive collection of John Deere toy tractors. This tractor and this tractor gave to me when I bought the new ones in 1972. And that was the first two I had. And now there's more than 500? Around 500, yeah. And as for all these trophies, well, they're all from winning tractor pulls with another one of Sid's pride and joys, his antique John Deere's he still farms with today. 1942, the B. The B? 
Yeah. The A is a 51. From his tractors to his replicas to his home, Sid is proud of them all. And he says without question, the best part of all is when he gets to share them with visitors whenever they stop by. Everybody says, oh, this is just beautiful. <laughs> That's what they say. Next month, Sid turns 83, and he figures he still has a few more things he needs to make. The biggest challenge, though, now is coming up with something he hasn't already built. In Mount Morris with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. Two thoughts. Number one, Sid's a genius, <laughs> a, a literal genius. I mean, that, Absolutely. that mind. And number two, you have to meet Sid. <laughs> he's, my, he's my new best friend. I was you? like, oh my goodness. Sid, I'm going to get your Sid, number from Bill, Jeff. And Bill, we're gonna, Sid. We're going to hook up. We've got some business to talk. Anyway, next week at Small Towns, how a Manitowoc County man has turned the camp he grew up next to into a haunted experience.